guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Heather and my channel is called Goo Review. Today's video is going to be the high-end brand version makeup kit. I did a drugstore one, so if you're looking for more affordable options of really good drugstore makeup that everybody should have in their kit, go ahead and check that video out. I will link it down below. But today's video is going to be for more of the high-end splurge items. This is a full face of makeup of everything that is high-end. Um, luxury, not really so much luxury, but high-end store brands, um, basically. So we're talking like Urban Decay, Cover Effects, Makeup Forever, Too Faced, things like that. Um, so I guess we will go ahead and get started in order of application, just like we did with the drugstore one. Um, I have two different primers here, depending on your skin type. If you're looking for a blurring primer, the one that I suggest to you is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This thing is amazing. Um, I really love it. I'm wearing it today. It doesn't even look like I'm real. Um, <laughs> it gives you mannequin skin. If you're looking for more of an illuminating primer, I would suggest the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer Base. This does a really good job of priming the skin. It also has a really nice illuminating finish, hence the name Illuminating Primer. Now, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer, what I have here is not the full size. This is a sample size that I got for $15, but I have Ulta's website pulled up here. You can get the full size of that for a whopping $34. Now, the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer you can get at Ulta for $34. $38. Um, I have two foundation options here. I'm sorry they're from the same brand, but honestly, like these are products that I've tried, I know, and I love, and I use on a regular basis. If you are looking for full coverage, full beat mask foundation, all nighter foundation by Urban Decay. Um, be careful with their shade though. Um, find whatever shade you think you are and then go down a shade because this does oxidize but it lasts all freaking day and it is so full coverage this foundation is one of the best in my opinion i have it in the shade 2.0 um which is kind of strange because you'll, you'll see in a minute um full coverage b now this foundation at ulta is forty dollars $40, um, and I think you get, you, will, you get one fluid ounce, so the standard. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit lightweight, a little bit lighter weight, more of like an everyday foundation, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation is my go-to ride or die foundation. I love this stuff so much. It wears beautifully. You don't even really have to set it with powder. It feels so lightweight, you almost can't even feel it at all. It sits beautifully on the skin. It does not cling to my dry patches. I'm obsessed with this one. And I have it in the shade 0 0.5. Now this is my perfect shade match. So um, the difference in these is kind of strange. I'm guessing that's probably because they have more shade selection in this one than they do this one. I don't know if that's the case or not, but there's that. Now, the best concealer that I have ever tried that is more high-end, and honestly, I'm kind of beating myself up that I haven't tried it sooner because we've all seen it, we've all heard it, we all know what it is, that would be Tarte Shape Tape. I can't believe it, take, it took me this long to try it, but this is the greatest concealer I've ever tried in my entire life, um, drugstore and high-end, and I've tried a lot of concealers. I am obsessed with this. It sits beautifully on the skin. It is so full coverage, easy to work with, easy to blend. Um, you do have a little bit of playtime with it, so uh, you can conceal what you need to, blend it out, and then set it with powder without worrying about it creasing, at least for me personally. But this is pricey. Um, let's see how many ounces you get. You get 0 0.3381 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters. 
Um, and it is a solid <laughs> $27. But a little bit does go a really long way because it is so full coverage. So there's that. Um, we're going to talk about a setting powder. I do not have a higher end pressed powder, but I do have a loose powder. This is the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. I have it in uh, translucent light. What's nice about this is they also have it in translucent dark for my deeper skinned individuals out there. Now in this you get 10 grams or 0.35 ounces of product. Um, it's very, very beautiful and I have not seen any flashback with photography with that setting powder which is really nice and I do like that they have two different options because just because it's translucent for somebody who's more fair skin than I like myself or who has um, lighter skin tones they're not as deep it's not going to register the same on somebody who is deeper skin toned it could look ashy and it can look like a white cast on their skin um, that retails for $35 um, next, we're going to talk about my favorite blush formula. Um, this is the Tar Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. This is actually in the shade Vibrant, and this is not full size. This actually came in a holiday kit. Um, the full size includes a mirror. The pressing on this is beautiful. As you can see, I've used it a lot. It doesn't have a smell. Um, it's This particular one is 1 and a half grams. But this is very long wearing, very pretty, easy to blend, buildable, so it's not like super intense, um, which is nice because sometimes you can go in with a really pigmented blush and you look like an absolute clown and it takes you hours to blend it out. This is not like that. This is very easy, buttery to blend, and it's buildable, so you aren't going to go ham with it and then have to like spend the next day and a half blending it out. The next product we're going to talk about is not available at Ulta. I don't think I was not able to find it on their website. I had actually purchased it myself at Sephora and it is my favorite, favorite highlighter. I've talked about this so many times. You guys are probably tired of hearing about it. Um, but this is the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlighter. And this is in the shade 01 Golden Pink for light to medium skin tones. This highlighter is everything in life. I, I live for this highlighter. It's so pretty. Oh my god. I could just stare at that for hours. Um, buttery, blinding, beautiful. Um, I, I love that. It is pretty pricey. It's $39 at Sephora.com, but it's worth it. It's worth every penny. So that's pretty much everything for face besides the setting spray. I've talked about this before. Um, any of the Urban Decay setting sprays are bomb.com. I love them. Um, I don't really see the difference between the Chill and All Nighter. The nozzle is the same, so it really doesn't matter to me, but the setting spray from Urban Decay, I believe all of them, all the full-size ones, which you get four ounces of product, are $32. Um, now, if we're going to move on to eyes, this is actually a newer product to me. I've only been playing with it for a couple of weeks now, but so far I've been really loving it. It is the Too Faced 24-Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer Shadow Insurance. I actually, this is the full size, um, and I did not pay full price for it. I got it half off um, for the 21 Days of Beauty sale, so I only paid $10 for this. It retails for $20. Yes, it retails for $20. And you get 11 grams or 0.35 ounces of product. Holy crap! Um, this stuff, just, your shadow locks onto this, and it's not going anywhere. Um, it's, doesn't have any coverage to it, so it doesn't cancel out any of my veininess or darkness on my eyelids. However, when I use this and I go in with a light shadow color, a transition type color, or just to set the primer, it cancels it out. So, um, if I'm not using concealer 
For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going in with this because this thing is amazing. Um, honestly, I like it more than my Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, eyeshadow primer. Now that one's a really, really good eyeshadow primer, so don't get me wrong. Um, and it's super affordable, which is even better. But if you have $20 to splurge on an eyeshadow primer, this is the one to get. Um, I think I've mentioned before I'm not really a huge fan of Urban Decay's primer potion, but this, my gosh, um, I'm so happy I got it, and I got it for $10, so I'm really not mad at that. Uh, the next eye product that I want to talk about is an eyeliner formula, not so much the specific eyeliner, but just the formula in general. Um, eyeliners are really difficult for me for, to review because no matter what the claims are, I have the type of eyes that everything will run on me no matter what. Um, so the one formula that I really like is Marc Jacobs, however that is hella expensive. Um, but the other one that I actually enjoy that I do get a good amount of wear time from is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner Pencils. Now this one is in the shade Corrupt. This is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, I also have it in Perversion and I have it in one other color. Um, this I've used like way down. Um, they're pretty, pretty good size bigger than this. Um, but I've used this one a lot. You get, um, let me see. I wonder how many... You get 0 0.04 ounces of product um, in the eyeliner, and they retail for $20, which is pretty pricey, but like I said, they are really good. The next product we're not going to talk about too much because, again, it's one of those that you're tired of hearing me talk about. Benefits Their Real Mascara. Need I say more? This is my favorite mascara of life. Holds a curl, lengthening, maximizing. Volumizing, amazing, $24. Um, the last eye product we're going to talk about is what I think is one of the most versatile and foolproof eyeshadow palettes that you can purchase for your money. If you are looking to just go blow a shit ton of money on high-end or luxury brands and you are looking to get one primer, one mascara, one this, one that, one eyeshadow palette. I couldn't think of the word for a second. One eyeshadow palette. I would go with Too Faced Chocolate Bar. First of all, the packaging is sleek, sturdy, and super cute. You get a ton of shades as well as a nice mirror. You get mattes, transitions, you even get like, this is what I use all over my lid this white chocolate color it smells heavenly oh my god I live for the smell of this um, the shadows are very easy to blend very pigmented um, not too much fallout some of the mattes do have a little bit of fallout uh, the foil shades such as marzipan and creme, creme, br creme brulee so these two shades here they do have quite a bit of fallout but besides that, this is a very easy palette to work with. Um, you can do summer, fall, winter, spring looks with this palette. Lots of versatile shades and so many different looks. I've got this really grungy fall look going on right now. Let me zoom you guys in here. As you can see, I just kind of went crazy with all the purpley red shades and browns in this palette. This really is one of the best palettes that I have in my collection. It's definitely top three. And I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I actually have an eyeshadow palette collection video um, on my channel. I can link that down below too if you guys are interested in checking that out. But this is one of my absolute favorites. And this retails for $49. So it's, you get, let me count them, three, six, seven, eight. You get 16 shadows in here. For $49 and with the quality I don't think that's a bad price so if you're just looking for one luxury easy to use versatile palette Too Faced chocolate bars so 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 good
So moving away from eyes, I think we're going to talk about lip products next. Um, I've got a couple different things here. So I think we're going to talk about gloss first. Um, my favorite luxury lip gloss formula, the Buxom ones are really good, um, and so are Soap and Glory, but I think Buxom is the best. I have the shade Amy here. This is not full size, but this is a stunning gloss, and it's what I'm wearing today, and it's just... So shiny. It's got a really nice, it's a plumping lip gloss, but it's not stingy, burny like um, the Too Faced Lip Injections or the Pillow Sexy Mother Pucker. That's what it is. The Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker XXL lip gloss that burns like a mofo. Um, this is more of a cooling, menthol y type plumping than it is burning, stinging, chili pepper burn. Um, and again, that's in the shade Amy. That's not the full size. The full size of the full-on lip polish by Buxom is 0.15 ounces, and those are $20. Um, now, I've got two different lipsticks in front of me, and these are some of the best formulas that I have found, in my opinion. So the first one we have is a liquid lipstick, and in my opinion, this is the best formula out there for liquid lipstick that I have tried so far. It is very easy to use. I think it is very beginner friendly. If you've never tried a liquid lipstick in your life, I think this is probably one of the best to start off with because it is so easy to use. And that is the Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipstick. Now this one is in the shade driver seat. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. The applicator makes it so easy to use. This doe foot applicator doesn't really have a smell. Um, but this, oops, this is one of the best formulas I have ever tried. It's very easy to use, like I said. Very, very comfortable, very, very long wearing. Um, and I, I just adore these. They are expensive, obviously. That's what this whole video is about. They're $24 a piece, but they have a huge shade selection, which is nice. Um, the next one is just a regular traditional lipstick bullet. I don't have one in front of me right now, but the Urban Decay ones are, the Vice lipsticks are very good. I love those. But the best one that I've tried so far, which is really strange because honestly, I've heard people um, knock the formula and say, oh, it's not as good as it, I remembered, or that was like one of the first products that I got when I was in high school, and I thought I was so cool, and I thought the formula was so good, but now I've tried other things, and it's not that good. There's better. But honestly, I don't wear lip, like regular bullet lipsticks all the time. I usually stick with a lip liner and um, a lip balm, and I stick to liquid lipsticks. I don't really wear bullet lipsticks. But this lipstick in particular is, it's so good. It's the best I've tried. And maybe that's saying like, oh, maybe she just hasn't tried enough. But I don't really care. I love this. This is Max lipstick. Matte lipstick. Um, I got this on sale, which is even better because Ulta's 21 days of beauty sale. I only paid like $8.50 for it which is drugstore price. This is the shade Velvet Teddy. I know, basic. Sue me. It smells so freaking good. I don't even, like, vanilla cupcake frosting. The shade is stunning. It's like my perfect nude lipstick. It is so comfortable to wear, and it lasts a long time for it being a bullet lipstick. I'm impressed. Like, it does transfer and it does wear away like a normal lipstick would. You know, it's not like liquid lipstick. But for being a bullet lipstick in a tube, the formula is just so long wearing. Um, mm, God, I just, I can't even get over the smell too. And the smell lingers, which I absolutely love because I love the smell of it so much. This specific shade is actually 17 50 on Ulta's website. I know my specific Ulta store in the town I live in does not have the full size. They only have the miniature size of Russian Red and Velvet Teddy. Um, for one day only, they got the full size bullets. The 
Bloomington, Indiana Ulta has a huge variety of MAC uh, products, or you can go online, or obviously you can go to a MAC store. Um, but like I said, for Ulta.com, these retail for $17.50, and I am obsessed with this formula. The last products we're going to talk about, I don't have any in front of me, and this is kind of another difficult thing to talk about, is brow products. Um, as you guys know, I once adored Benefit's Give Me Brow. It's $22. It comes with a little wand, and you just run it through your brows, and you're good to go, for me anyways, just because I have such full brows. And since then, I found a very inexpensive drugstore uh, product that's similar to that by Essence that I've been using. I don't have much luck with brow pomades, brow powders, or brow pencils. So that is something you're going to have to experiment with yourself. However, I do have a couple of suggestions just from word of mouth and from my friends who have tried and known these products. I haven't tried any of them personally, so I can't give you an honest opinion and review. But a couple of suggestions to try would probably be any of Anastasia Beverly Hills products. They are known for their brow products, um, so definitely try like their pomades or their brow whiz. The Benefits, um, precisely my brow pencil, I heard is a really good one. But like I said, I've never had any luck with brow pencils. I am terrible with brow pencils. I never use them, and I don't use brow powders. I just stick to the gimme brow or the make me brow. Um, so, like I said, I don't really have much of an opinion on that topic. I don't really have something to present to you with a review. But the products that I showed you today that I had in front of me that I talked about in this video are all products that I absolutely love and adore. They are all expensive, high-end products, not so much luxury. Like, I'm not talking like Marc Jacobs, Chanel, Estee Lauder, um, YSL, Clay de Poe. I'm not talking about your or La Mer. Jesus Christ, La Mer. I'd love to get my hands on some La Mer products, but I'm not trying to drop... $195 on a foundation. Who does that? Um, <laughs> maybe if I win the lottery or something. We'll see. But for these products, I've tried them. I've had these products in my collection again and again and again. And I love them. And, you know, hopefully if you're looking to kind of step up your makeup game, if you want, you know, to have a little bit more showy, flashy products, more expensive products, um, these ones I know work great. And like I said, just because it's expensive doesn't mean that it's good or that it works for you. I have tried my fair share of expensive products that do not work for me. Um, for example, I talked about this on my channel, the It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores translucent setting powder, luminous finish. Oh, jeez. I took that back. I, oh, man. $42 down the drain right there. I took it back. It was terrible. I hated it. Um, but like I said, just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's going to, you know, guarantee it's going to work. Everybody's different. Everybody has different opinions, different skin tones, different needs, different wants. So, you know, like I said, uh, if you're looking for an inexpensive makeup tutorial or makeup kit. I do have a drugstore version down below. It's a little bit more affordable options, obviously, depending on who you are. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'll link that down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, um, give us a thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know what some of your favorite products are, what some of your ride or die makeup bag products are that are, you know, that you always have to have in your collection. I'm really interested to know what those are. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can be part of the Goo Crew, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.